Hi Master of None here and today we're going to fire up the forge and do a nice little beginner's blacksmithing project. We're going to make a bottle opener and in doing this we're going to learn a couple new techniques if you're new to blacksmithing. Not that I'm an experienced smith but we're just going to, I think it's kind of easier for you sometimes to learn from someone who doesn't make working metal as easy as some of the other people online make it look. Um, I'm going to use this little chunk of bar stock. Plenty of metal here to make a bottle opener out of. Um, I was recently trying to make it out of a much smaller piece of metal and when it came to drifting this hole I um, I had it tear so I decided to go back to the larger piece of metal that this thing was made out of and we're going to see what we can do. Um, Stuff like this, a little bit of practice goes a long way. I don't have my first bottle opener I ever made handy, uh, but I do have the first two spoons I ever made. This was the first spoon I ever made. It is pretty crude, a little bit intentionally. I wanted to leave a lot of, you know, rough, um, you know, a hammer forged look to it. This one is the second spoon I ever made, and you can see this is a lot closer to what you'd have in your uh, cutlery or pl platware uh, cabinet at home. There's a re but there's multiple reasons for that. One is I went into the house and got a spoon out to have as a resource when I made this one. Whereas this one, I was just trying to make a spoon. Now with this bottle opener, I was just trying to make a bottle opener um, I didn't really have any sort of reference. I do think it's a good thing to have a reference. Um, I have a drawing somewhere of of uh, the bottle opener that I'd kind of like to make today, but this was based on a piece of bar stock that I was going to use that was too thin. This is take two of the video, so I don't know if I'm going to go that tapered on the handle now that I've got to make it out of this or not. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is make it kind of, kind of wide and then taper down the very bottom like I did on this one because you have the bottle opener on one end and on the other end you have a can opener if you're opening a lot of cans and don't have a fingernail or if you're a bartender who has to open a lot of them and just starts to get sore after a time you have a can opener on the other end. So, let's kick on the forge and start swinging the hammer. I'm just gonna go right to punching a hole in this piece. The uh, more centered it is, the better off you're gonna be when it comes to finishing it and having a nice symmetrical piece. That looks pretty good. Now this piece of bar stock is bigger than it needs to be. To make this item, but it's kind of what I've got. So I'd like to get a little bit smaller bar stock and make a whole bunch of bottle openers, but that's for a different day. So once you get it pounded in the first side, you flip it over over the pritchel hole here. And oh, not quite. That one's hung up with just a little bit. Typically they pop right through. But in this case you can see there's the little pellet right there, and now we have a hole drifted in our piece. Now we're going to continue to drift that hole out larger. Starting to lose some of our heat now, so we're going to put that back into the fire. We're 
just going to continue to drip that hole out. That's getting pretty close to how far we can go here on our little hardy hole. Now we've outgrown our hardy hole. So I've moved over here to my bench vise to continue drifting that hole out. We'll get another heat on that. And slow but steady progress. We're going to go in for another heat. What'd you start? about through we'll probably make through on the next heat and that'll be the end of this drift and this is going to be the last heat I'm pretty sure over on the bench vise to draw my tongs that time wasting heat and that goes through now this is still not going to be big enough for a bottle opener. We're going to have to make it a little bigger yet, but that's our drift. That's as big as it gets. So now we're going to have to go and finish this thing off on the horn of the anvil. Now that we're over here on the horn of the anvil, we can start opening up that eye a little more just kind of roll it and tap and I'm also kind of blunting those square corners that were on that now at the end of the heat here we're gonna flatten everything off knock all the scale off we pretty much do this at the end of every heat try to remove as many hammer marks as we can Making some pretty good progress on that. wonky there we're gonna have to uh, clean that up a bit here on our next heat if we can and it needs to be a little bit bigger still going to a bit smaller of a hammer here because it's we're actually getting too much progress with each hit and that's kind of why it's getting a little whoop, a little misshapen here back to the big hammer to flatten it out at the end of the heat. Clean that up, nice little taps here, knocking off the scale and removing as many of the hammer marks as we can get and back into the fire. A 
really making some headway there. And I've got another bottle opener over here as a reference point for the size that the opening needs to be in. We're pretty much right there. We're going back into the heat. One side's a little thicker than the other, so we're going to focus on that thicker side. Getting that nice and symmetrical now. One corner there is just a little bit thicker. Again, grab our bottle opener and check the size of the hole, and it appears that we are big enough now. We'll just clean that up a bit and finish her off. Not quite perfect, but again, you want it to kind of look hand forged. I like that quite a bit, I think. Uh, now we'll put the little notch in the bottom to catch the bottle cap and enable you to open bottles. Try to get nice and centered in the hole and we want to be right on the edge of it with our punch. And probably not quite enough on just one try to catch a bottle, so we're gonna go back into the forge and go one more uh, heat on that. That's much better. I think I'm going to smooth it out just a bit with the ball peen. thing to do would be to cool this off and see if it'll open a bottle so we are cool to the touch now we have a bottle let's see if it works and indeed it does it handled that pretty easily so now we're going to see about maybe tapering off this end so it can open like a pop top. So we're almost where we want to be. So I'm going to the smaller hammer again. actually kind of like the profile and don't want to flare it out a bit anymore so I might just finish that up on the grinder we don't want a sharp edge but we want it 
thin enough that it'll be able to slide under the tab of a can. So, before we took it to the grinder, um, after I cooled it off, I happened to grab a can and it seems like it slides under there pretty nice. If anything, it's the width of it that makes it not slide under as nice as it could otherwise. So I'm not going to go to the grinder and instead I'm going to leave it like this. And next I'm going to wire brush this off just to clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to show that on camera, but I'm going to go do that and we'll get back to you in just a second. We are going to finish this now with just a little bit of beeswax. And you can see, still see it's warm enough, plenty warm enough to melt that beeswax. Just coat that nice and evenly with the beeswax. Get the other side. Now of course the beeswax, we'll just put a nice little coating on it to help prevent any kind of corrosion. Well, our final project product here, after it cooled off, after applying the beeswax, Mm. Doesn't really want to focus on kind of a, I shouldn't say little, not a, not a nice little bottle opener. I didn't want it to be as small as the other one though. Um, we know it'll open a bottle and it'll lift the tab up for you to open a can. Oh, that's good after all that work. Um, a takeaway for me, I don't know what's going on with the brass brushing, why that didn't work. And boy, it's a lot harder to do something like this and try to film it for you guys. So shout out to Master of Sun. He was the one operating the camera all day today so I could try to spent as much time trying to strike while the iron was hot so hat tip to him and a big thank you normally he's kind of in the videos but today he was kind of just behind the scenes and thanks to you guys once again like subscribe hit the notification button please subscribe after this this was hard work today this is much more effort than i put into a video in quite some time i broke a sweat so this has been Master of None, blacksmithing, beginner projects, bottle opener project, and we'll catch you next time.